of your people, of your church. Lord, we pray tonight, Lord God, that there will be a blessing release on this platform in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Surviving mental issues in ministries. Amen. I want to say to all of us on this platform tonight that our mental health is important. Our, our mental health is important and its need to be taken care of just as much as our physical health. For thousands of years, this was not the case. There has always been a stigma around mental illness, especially, sad to say, in the church. Uh-oh. Amen. Let me two, read two. our scripture tonight, and then we get into the conversation. Well, I'm going to use a few scriptures, but I'm just going to use this as a base. First Kings 19, this was the one that the Lord put in my spirit. Amen. First Kings 19, verse 4 to 8. But he himself, this is Elijah, went a, a day journey into the wilderness and came and sat under a juniper tree. And he requests for himself that he might die. And he said, it is enough now, O Lord, take away my life, for I am not better than my father's and as he lay and slept under the juniper tree behold then an angel touched him and said unto him arise and eat and he looked and behold there was a cake baking on the coal and a cruise of water at his hand and he said, sorry, and he did eat and drink and lay down again. Look at that. He, he, he had and he drank and he laid down again. And the angel of the Lord came again the second time and touched him and said, arise and eat because the journey is too great for thee. And he arose, and we can read the rest of it in our spare time. Amen. Disclaimers, this is uh, not something that I'm a professional in. I'm not a psychiatrist. Amen. I'm not certified as a psychiatrist, but I'm going to go Bible-based, what the Bible have to say about mental health. Now, there's two things for sure the Bible don't say. The Bible don't say somebody that they're having mental health issue is demonized. And the Bible don't say somebody that is struggling with mental health issue, he will not use, or they are not less anointed, or they are not appointed, or the Lord will take away of their position. The Bible don't say that. But the Bible have a lot to say about mental health and when we go through the scriptures many of the the the, the, the profound man of god we see struggled through the years uh with mental health if you ever read uh i think it's jeremiah 20 verse 8 jeremiah was telling god to take away his life no <laughs> He don't want to he don't want to live he was going through it amen glory to god so the bible don't say that because you're going through some mental issue is going to put you in fact in fact the church believe that anyone who is suffering from a, 
uh, mental il um, illness where we heard it right through uh, as we go through church as a young boy coming up, get saved. Uh, if somebody is suffering from a mental illness, this is so because they were far from God. This could not be further from the truth. I mean, the Bible itself say God is close to the broken heart. If it was so, Jesus would not die. The Bible said while we were yet sinners, while we were yet broken in our sin, while we were in our mess, that was the time that Jesus died for us and he, he brought us up to a place, a respectable place. Thankfully, church has come around in recent times and many now realize that just like a person who is close to God can get a physical illness, <laughs> that person can also get a mental illness. The Bible even has a lot of guidance and encouragement concerning mental illness because God knew that some of his people will go through it. Some of his people will go through it. What does the Bible say on mental health? Although you will never find the word mental health or mental illness written in the Bible, you will find the symptoms of it. Symptoms such as anxieties, sadness, brokenness, immense fear and panic are in the Bible. People in the Bible have gone through it. Come on. There are stories of people who went through it, who went through mental illness and scripture, uh, and, and, and went through mental illness. We look at Jonah. We, we saw with Jonah hide himself, hide himself from the assignment. To be honest, how many times uh, we have we have hid ourselves from the, I, I was hearing my wife um, asking about the prayer of those who are hiding themselves, hiding themselves from the assignment that God have on them life, uh, uh, that God has for them to complete. How much of us are, are hiding because of what people said about us? We know we have the capability of getting the job done, but somebody didn't believe in us and we believe that one person that didn't believe in us and though we are qualified to do it we went and hide ourselves because somebody word have reached our mind and discourage us and cause us uh, not to believe in what we can do we find jonah hide himself from the work of god because of issues that he did not agree with how many times we hide ourselves from the presence of god because of what we're going through i don't know about you but i reached a place sometimes in my life growing in ministry uh, and as a christian where when i go down to pray i don't know how to start the prayer and it's not that i i, I don't have the ability to pray but because of what I'm going through, it's like it sucked me up. It's like a vacuum. It put me at a place where I feel like I can't function. Can we be honest tonight? The Bible actually validates that mental illness do exist and that God cares for you enough to meet you where you or and help you to be healed mental health is a struggle in the lives of millions of people if not billions uh, the bible has many scriptures that help us maintain our mental health and encourage us uh, to be strong i'm going to talk about elijah in a bit but i just want to highlight some stuff that i think is necessary as we go forward tonight one of the things the Bible said for us is to guard our mind. Our mind is in, important of what information circle 
in our mind. Second Corinthians 10, 5 said, we destroy arguments and every lofty opinion raised against the knowledge of God and take every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. My God, you, I can tell you, the mind is a back to feel by itself. There's a war that is going on in our mind. And listen, if it haven't been for God, that is on, on our side, some of us would have been running mad. And one of the, the, the mess up that we get about mental health, we think mental health like is, is, is just about mad people. Uh, um, people who, who lost their mind and all of that. But mental elders have so much branches to it, have so much root. When we do a depth study, we understand the various things. And in, in a little while, I'm just going to bring up uh, um, uh, the fruits and the symptoms and the cause. Amen. As I, I lay this um, foundation, what does the Bible uh, really tell us to do? It really encourages us to cultivate a mental strength. Our mental strength as Christian is one of the most important thing we can do in our life. And we must always remember that as Christians, we are tripod being, we are body, soul, and spirit. That means we are psychological, that we are emotional, and that means we are physical. And there's a battle that is always going on. And one thing I believe that we are more spiritual than physical. Listen, God says to the man in the garden, the man and the woman, the day you eat of this fruit, you shall surely die. But what happened when they eat the fruit? They were still physically alive. But guess what? They, they, they were spiritually dead. I believe according to scriptures that everything have to come alive spiritually to affect us physically because we are more spiritual than physical uh, uh somebody says that we are a spiritual man exists in a physical body with a soul glory to god and as we go forward tonight uh, into this uh topic and as I open the platform in a few minutes to have discussion, amen, to help each other uh, to overcome. Because difficult times as human being is, is, uh, is, 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 is going to happen. Difficult time will come. Tough days going to come. And some of us are going through some of the toughest days of our life. Mm -mm. Am I alone on no, this platform tonight? So difficult times will come. Tough days will come. My God, hard times going to come. Sometimes we're going to go to places that we can't understand. Why am I going through this? Amen. But it's best to know how to respond to difficult time. And the truth of the matter is we can't. Uh, put everybody's situation, one can fit all sizes. Our situation are, are, are very uh, diverse, amen. And sometimes, amen, what worked for me won't work for you. Glory to God. And the truth of the matter is I can handle some things that you can't handle. And you can handle some things that I can't handle. That's the diversity of the situation. Amen. For God, and one thing we must remember, that God has not given us the spirit of fear. But what have he gave us? The, uh, he has gave us power and of love and a sound mind. Amen. 
So God wants us to have a sound mind. He wants us to have a mental strength. Amen. What about if we having a mental breakdown? Do you know anyone this season having a mental breakdown? Strong people. I see some strong people that that that, that was leading and, and, and they were on fire. And situation got them to a place where they just come right down. I remember, I won't call no name. When I just got saved, I remember this woman of God. Uh, she was one of those women that was, 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 was like, she was a prophetess in the church at the time. And, and I'm telling you, when this woman say, run, run. But after a time, she, she, she lost it. She lost it so severe that she didn't even know who, who she was. She didn't know her children. Amen. And, and, and many people might say she did something somewhere wrong. But nobody knew what she was going through. And this woman lost so much weight and she stopped coming to church. And she, she stopped prophesying. Amen. And there, there was a time that she was coming right back around. And one day I received a phone call that this woman committed suicide. And it put, as a young believer, dent in my spirit so much to wonder if I can make it. Because I begin to look into myself to say, I know this woman as a prayer warrior. She was one of them that was bringing the church. She was one of them was leading the church. And she committed suicide. And I said to myself as a young believer, oh, how oh, am I going to make it? How oh, am I going to make it when such a strong woman reached a stage when she should be getting ready to go to the glory of God, commit suicide? She have a mental breakdown. And that's why it's very important that we have to be honest. We have to be honest to ourselves and to others. As I was, um, I tapped in some times ago, I think two weeks ago, and Pastor Nicole Maxwell win. Oh God, I keep quiet on it because you know it's a woman thing and I don't want to look like I'm, you know. But this was the same thing that uh, the, 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 the speaker was speaking about, that we have to be honest to ourselves <laughs> and we have to be honest to others. Listen, you can't uh, meet people's expectation. You can't meet people's expectation. You got to be honest to yourself and you got to be honest uh, to people. You have to know the time that I have to take a break. I have to take a break because my body is telling me that I need a break. One of the problems we have, and I say this to, to people, I believe that many of the anointed men of God, that I believe many of them died before them time. Why? Because I see many of them wife outlive them. I believe many of the anointed man of uh, many of the anointed man of God that died before time is because they didn't just know when to take a break. You see, people will hold you as a hostage to, 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 for you to perform the way that they want right through the time. And your body and your mind will be telling you it's time to take a break. If we look at Jesus, <laughs> Jesus slipped away. 
Jesus take away himself from the crowd when it is necessary. There's something that I've realized that I, I didn't uh, understand while growing up in, in, in ministry. I didn't know that the anointing take a toll on your body, your physical. You might be up there when you're in the spirit and you feel like you can jump over all that place and all of that. But listen, it requires your mental health to be at a place so you can function correctly. When the woman that was bleeding for 12 here touched the hem of Jesus' garment, what Jesus says, virtue. And virtue is not spiritual. <laughs> virtue is physical. In other words, energy left my body. We have two... Uh, uh, we have too much uh, burnt out ministers around the pulpit that don't know how to take a break. Don't know how to take a time to see God face and let God minister to them. What Jethro said to Moses, Jethro said to Moses, Moses, you need to find men likewise your mind and lay your hands upon them and teach them because if you try to do it all by yourself moses you gonna die you're gonna die before your time somebody didn't get that so we have to know when to take a break. And it's not just in ministry. Uh, also physically. Uh, you know, over here we have a thing that called cash in hand. And you know if you if you're if you're a skillful person, you know, you will also, you know, if you can paint and stuff. And I remember I take on some job to do some painting in, in, in some offices. And I was doing nights, trying to get the work done, doing night and day, doing night and day. And I tell you, I was drinking the coffee, I was drinking uh, the energy, whatever. And one of the time is like my, my, my whole body, I could feel it. My whole body shut down on me. I want to work. I want to work. And the energy that you, the energy drinks that I drink, I could feel it moving up and down in my body. But it seems like my muscles were locked down. And I have to just go sit at a place. And I was sitting there. I couldn't sleep. Because something in my body was 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 in balance. But my mind was telling me that, yeah, do you want to finish what you're doing? But guess what? You're tired. You're tired and you need rest. And I want to say to the to, to, to the ministers on these platforms that the, if the spirit of God is telling you that it's time to take a break, take that break because if you don't take that break something will break as somebody says a, 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 a live dog is better than a dead dead lion or something like that if we don't know how to take that break something will break We must find that place. We must have that secret closet where we can hide away from the presence of man and shut in with the presence of God. 
a lot of people miss it a lot of a lot of people miss their assignment because they get caught up in the assignment and forget to go back to the place of the one that assigned them to the assignment many people are living up to to, to man expectation oh god I, I, i'm on, i'm the anointed one so i have to be there and i have to do this and that. Now, who says that you have to sometimes it's okay to to sit and be quiet and listen sometimes it's okay to observe unless god says so But what is your mind, your body, your emotion is saying to you? You have to listen. And when I say listen, I don't mean uh, somebody might get it wrong. Because sometimes you might hear the wrong things. They might feel the wrong things. But you still have to listen to your mind, your body and your emotion and you have to elevate uh, uh you have to uh, decide uh the, the uh true scripture than true prior the decision that you make from what you're hearing so do you know anyone at this time having a mental breakdown because there's a lot of people that are suffering in silent as as i um go through uh, and and reflect upon upon what i've learned through churches and what i've heard i realized that in a time that uh there was not enough doors that open up there was not enough ears that open up there was not enough um provision uh, uh provided for those who are struggling in different air er areas of their life uh, uh and many times um your real issues are class as 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 if if you're going through that it, it must be it, it must mean that you are possessed did you hear it and and sometimes you're going through it and because they hear these things that you're a weak christian you don't have no faith and because you're, you're you're not mature enough and all of that it puts you at a place that you you don't even want to share this concern because you don't want no one to judge you and listen not because something is ignore that don't mean that it will go wow not because something is being uh, 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 put on the, the blind side. That don't mean it's not still there. Uh -oh. Many of the things that we're dealing with, with in, in our adulthood is, is things that we have hide from. Back in our teenage years, uh, back in our, uh, probably in our young adulthood age, we hide from them. And because we hide from them, we, we believe that it, it's not no longer with us. But hello, many of the things that we're dealing with now that, that, that are showing itself as monsters has grown with us on the blind side of our life because we did not face it. And, and when it comes to mental health, this is what the church said to us, that if, if, if you have it, you are demon, you're, you're, you're demonic possessed, you're a weak Christian, you, you, you don't read the Bible enough, you don't pray enough, you don't have enough faith. And guess what? Because you don't want to be labeled and described as one of those persons, sometimes you hide yourself from it. And you, you might cover yourself with, with all kind of scripture you know, and all kind of um, succursals, what the church says and all the programs, but the truth of the matter when occasion arise in familiarity there's a manifestation of that wish used to affect you and you know that it is there there is no resolving without confrontation some of the things them that we fear 
and we are hiding from for us to defeat it we have to confront it and, and and now we are equipped listen when we look at the situation of david with a stone and and the trained warriors was hiding in the camp what david did david faced the giant with the word of god what is that giant that is affecting you mentally is it loneliness is it anxiety are you feeling weary are you feeling ever laden what is it the Bible encourages in Hebrews said that we should put away every weight. Sometimes we look at the sin, but we don't look at the weight. What are these weight? The things that got us up at night, the things that wake us up and giving us sleepless night, the things that evil got us through the day worrying. These are the weights that the Bible says that we should put away. But to put away something, you have to confront it. You have to put your hands on it. You have to get it off you. How do we get it off us? That's the good question. We need the Lord and his word to do it. What Jonah says, and listen to what Jonah says. The engulfing waters threatened me. The deep surrounded me. Seaweed was wrapped around my head to the root of the mountains. I sunk down in the earth beneath, buried me in forever. But you, Lord, my God, this is the part that we must catch. You, Lord, my God, brought my life up from the pit when my life was embedding away i remembered you lord and my prayer rose to you to your holy temple and jonah 2 7 says and the lord he is the one who goes before me let me tell you the Lord will take care of you. The Lord will fix it for you. But guess what? I understand the nature of God. God don't impose himself on no one. God fix things in our life that we give him to fix. <laughs> if we fight it for ourselves, we, we, we're telling God, stand by, I can deal with this myself. But God fixed things that we give him to fix. And many of us, what we will, our experiences through life, I believe sometimes it caught up with me. I believe that some we have some issues that we believe that we have to plane out, then we go to God. Uh-oh. -uh. We have some issues that we have to fix ourselves, then we go to God. When we fix ourselves up. What the thing is that we think that we have to fix up ourselves. Then we present ourselves to God. But the truth of the matter is, is God is the one that do the fixing. That's why the songwriter said, oh, what needless burden we bear. Guess why? Because we don't carry. Mm -hmm. Whatever fear is coming into your mind this very hour, what anything that is causing worry in your heart, you have the power to carry it to God. And when we carry it to God, he will give us the resolution for it. When Moses was giving his uh, 
Pharaoh's speech to the Israelis say to them, God, he will be with you. Can I tell somebody that is feeling lonely this very hour? Because some of us are in church and we're still feeling lonely. Some of us married and we're still feeling lonely. Some of us is waiting for that partner. And because we're waiting for that partner, we feel lonely. But Moses says to them, says to the Israelites, that God will be with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. He said, do not fear, nor be dismay. Is anybody in this platform, you're battling the feeling of loneliness. It's all good when you're in the group. You're all good when you're with the peers and with the preaching and the teaching and the church songs and all of that, and you're in the group, the prayer platform. But what about when you, when you are by yourself? What is the experience you're experiencing? experiencing for years in my life uh, in church uh, because i was at a place where i didn't really let myself out to people i didn't really let out myself to people because i didn't really let myself out to people church was a lonely place for me for a while I go to church and then the, everyone excited to see somebody came out of the Rastif, Rastafarian community to come to church. And yes, church was good. I've been to all of the services, the Bible study, the prayer meeting. But my quiet time was so difficult, was so empty. There was a void there. And God gave me a strategy. Whenever I feel that void, it pushed me to pray and because the void helped me so much it developed my prayer life so the devil will bounce upon those opportunity to come into your mind and try to paint all sorts of picture about who you are to take away your confidence to make you feel rejected and alone but god said pray my son in this season, we must know how to use these strategies, these winning strategies to combat the enemy and the thoughts of the enemy. That's why he said that we should tear them every lofty thoughts that go against the knowledge of God. God says, whenever my son, you feel as if you're alone, pray my god almighty and the time comes now when it's no longer a time of loneliness but it was a time that i begin to seek i just want to be by myself so i can pray my god almighty i begin to enjoy the fellowship of being with god i understand how to use what I got to get where I want to be. The truth of the matter is, I'll be honest on this platform, church can be a lonely place with people. But if you find the presence of God, you will be all right. Can I say that again? Church can be a lonely place with people. But if you know how to tap in to the presence of God, it will be a fulfilling place. The place where no one is will become a place of opportunity. So, so let us talk a little what caused mental health problems. Mental health and faith. Our church can help to lift the lid and relieve the pressure. One, every person has dignity. Every person has dignity. God made every single person 
in his image and for his purpose. Mental illness doesn't change the truth one bit. If a person's heart is beating right now, <laughs> God has a purpose for your life. Even if it's not easy to see. I don't care what you're going through right now in the sense of because God still have purpose for your life. And sometimes the situation or the, the events of life is what expose what God will have us to do for him. Sometimes we have to experience the, the assignment itself before we can minister effectively as our God. Some of the journey is to find hope and faith and to build our strength and our stamina in God. When we go to some place and, and, and and people will say that, why do you believe with God? I have a testimony that I've been somewhere and it's only God alone could help me. David said, I cry unto the Lord and he heard me and he picked me up out of the miry clay. Nobody can take that testimony away. Listen what isaiah says this was god says i have cared for you since you were born yes i carried you before you were born god cared for us from the moment we are conceived to the moment we stop breathing that means we don't have we don't have the we don't have dignity because a government says we do our people say we do we don't have dignity because of our economic status our dignity doesn't come from our appearance or from psychological happening our creator is the one that give us our dignity and if you catch that, you realize that nobody have the power to take away your dignity unless you willingly give it away. Wow. So that means if somebody be encouraged, if somebody don't appreciate what God is doing in your life, if somebody don't uh, 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 acknowledge who you are in God, they can't take away your dignity dignity people will reject you people will talk down on you people will not see you for who you are but because it's god that gives you your dignity no one no situation no struggle can take it away from you somebody just lift your god your voice and praise god our creator is the one that gives us our dignity Psalms 139, the Bible says that God formed us in our mother's womb. He saw us before we were born and scheduled every day of our life. Jeremiah, that one to die, God said, I know the thoughts, Jeremiah, I take towards you. Thoughts of peace. Encourage yourself, man. Oh, God Almighty. Encourage yourself in the Lord. That's how much God thinks of us and all other people in this planet, no matter how confused your mind may be. As we deal with people struggling, listen, all of us are broken. 
All of us have a broken point in our life. We make, make it look good. Salvation fix us up back. But all of us, some point in our life was broken. And because of that, it should allow us to understand other people's struggle. As we deal with people struggling with mental illness, we must remember that, that we live in a fallen world. All of us have mental illness sometime in our life. We all have our own weaknesses and wounds. We have our own fears, obsessive thoughts, and compulsions. We don't minister to those with mental illness by lording our mental state over them. We are not better than them. We are them. And somebody might say that's not sounding right on the regeneration. But the point that we need regeneration, the whole fact is that some point in our life, we were out of the generation of God. That's why we need generation. That was our broken point. That was our testimony. That means we need each other. It's why God allow uh, disabilities. If you didn't have any disabilities, you would be arrogant. Lord, Paul, visit up in the heaven three times because something is buffering. He have a thorn in his flesh. Uh, God, if some of us, my God, didn't have certain limitation, will be self-centered. We wouldn't need no one help if we could do it all by ourselves. And even though we are broken, we are deeply loved and valued. I love what God says in Jeremiah 3, uh, 31, 3. I have loved you. Tell somebody, come on, talk to yourself that God loves you. Say, I am love. You might not hear in it to, uh, uh, with your family, but come on. You might not hear in it as a, with human beings, but come on, say, I am love. God said, I have loved you with an everlasting love. God love for you, for me, and for everyone. And those who are living with so-called identify, identify mental illnesses is unconditional and unending. God love is strong towards us. It's consistent. Oh God, our brokenness doesn't make God love us any less while we were yet sinners. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, if I wrap up a $50 bill, will you still want it? If I rub it in the dirt, would you take it? Of course you would. No matter how much damage you damage a $50 bill, its value doesn't change. It's still worth $50. Come on, somebody. My God Almighty. The same is true for people who are struggling with mental illnesses. No matter how sick people are, God still loves them. God still values them. We should too. My circumstances may not be your circumstances, but the love of God in me, oh God, should have compassion towards you. My God, if I see you struggling, my brother, if I see you struggling, my sister, the love of God in me should want to help you. We get well within relationship. No one has all the solution to mental illness. I'm coming down. But we have each other. 
This is where the church really shines. We are better together. A kingdom that divided within itself. Galatians 6 2 says that we should reach out to those who are oppressed and fulfill Christ's law of love. For us to fulfill the law of love, we have to reach out to the people that are oppressed. Mental illnesses tends to create isolation. It's one of the most tragic ways mental illness impact people's life. If you want to see people pull away from people, make somebody do something out of the norm. Oh, God. Feel like I'm here by myself, but that's all right. Nothing is worse for someone who is struggling with a condition than to be isolated from other. I recently talked about the lion syndrome. Do you know why the lion roll while he's hunting? It's to separate the strong from the weak. It's to cause confusion so he can prey upon the weak. Oh, God Almighty. One of the strategies of the, the enemy is to isolate people and kill them. Come on. Don't let the devil isolate your brother nor your sister to kill them. Our church must become places where people can be honest about their, their situation. And I'm going to cut that mental illness thing out a bit. We need to become places of hope and refuge for the broken people. Too often people with situation and condition must wear masks everywhere they go. Hallelujah. I feel your God in this place. Let our church become the places where people with conditions that, are, that we don't consider the norm can discover they will never be alone again. That's the good news. That's the good news that will keep us pressing on when times get difficult. Listen, how many pastors and leaders on this platform can really call somebody when you're going through a battle? How many people do you have to call? Who minister to the pastors? Who pray for the prayer warriors? Who pastor the pastor? Who bishop the bishop? Come on. Ministry can be a lonely place. And sometimes you're going through some stuff and you can't even know who to open up to. And you're getting phone calls after phone calls and you're getting requests after requests and you still have to be on the front line while your problem coming at you to eat you up as well. Who do ministers call? Leading and bleeding. Leading in pain. I was reading something recently that it says that in, in Carolina, uh, about 17% of the church pastor commit suicide can't handle the situation i can't handle the problem till they take their whole life leading and bleeding my god almighty you see the anointing around the pulpit you see the dynamic the hermeneutics uh, and the homiletics uh, but sometimes we miss the person behind all of that Sometimes we don't even know what some of those preachers that is praying for us, that is serving us, that is getting up and crying in nights what they're going through, leading but bleeding. Are you here with me tonight?
Are we here tonight? Come on, somebody. Are you here with me? Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Come on. Glory Hallelujah. Glory Hallelujah. Glory Hallelujah. Glory Hallelujah. Glory Hallelujah. Glory Hallelujah. Let us look at some of the contributing factors, then we're going to run up a bit and just stop it tonight. Amen. What are the contributing factors? Life's events, such as uh, uh, bereavement, neglect, mental abuse, physical abuse, sexual abuse, or uh, listen to this one, parents, or uh, an equal parental treatment of siblings can contribute to depression in adulthood. Childhood physical or sexual abuse in particular and um, significantly uh, correlates with the likelihood of experienced depression over the survival lifetime. Life events and changes that may cause depression mood include uh, childbirth and menopause, financial difficulties, unemployment, stress, such as from work, education, military service, family, living condition, marriages, a medical diagnosis. And this was one of the one reached me that many people died from the information of what they heard that they have more than from the sickness itself lord of mercy a lot of people die because they're worrying about what they got and because they're worrying about what they got it killed them oh my some of the factors are and that affect us our personalities, who we are. This um, depression is associated with low um, extroversion and people who have high levels of, um, of energies are more likely to experience depression symptoms and are more likely to receive a diagnosis of uh, depressive disorder what does depression affect this depression can affect anyone including children uh, sorry who does um depression affect depression can affect anyone including children and adults women and people assigned or whatever leave that amen the truth of the matter is we are living in a challenging time our environment is very challenging. And many and depression and, and, and worries can lead to stroke, uh, seizures, cancer, whatever, chronic pain. How common is depression? Depression is common. Sorry. Depression is common. It says, um, researchers estimate that nearly 7% of adults in the United States have depression every year. More than 16% of, uh, of, of United States adults, around one in six people, will experience depression at some point in their lifetime. However, researchers believe that these estimates are lower than reality, as many people don't seek medical help for symptoms of depression and don't receive a diagnosis apparently 4.4 percent of children in the united states have depression let us look at symptoms and cause uh clinical depression is a chronical and um, condition but it usually occur in episodes which can last several weeks or months what are the symptoms of depression Symptoms of depression, low energy, feeling very sad and hopeless, thoughts of self hormones or suicide, irritable, change in eating behavior, sleep changes, loss of interest in hobbies and activity, difficulty 
concentrating or making a decision. And I don't have time to go through all it. And I just want to leave this with you. Five leadership insight from Jethro. We know Jethro was the father-in-law of Moses. We might not see his name much in the book of Exodus. But in Exodus chapter 18, Jethro provides leadership insight that are still relevant for all of us today. I believe we all can benefit from his leadership advice and then the way in which Moses received it. Let me share five. Let me share uh, five insight. One, Jethro said to, to, to Moses, and he make it clear that it's not about you. Moses became the center of attention in the Israelite camp, hearing all the cases and problems of the people from morning to evening. Jethro observed this taking place and asked Moses, what are you doing? Everybody was coming to Moses, morning, night, evening, phone to stop ring off, WhatsApp overload. Facebook Messenger, everybody coming on Moses. In other words, he was asking, why are you making yourself the center around which everything has to resolve? Moses responded, I paraphrase, in typical for many of us who are leaders, the people expect me to have all of the answers. Yet we hold no punches. He tell Moses, this is not a good thing. You cannot lead in a manner where it's all about you. We do not know. But my guess is Moses did not intend to make it all about himself. Many of us fall into the same trap. Do not set out to make it all about ourselves either. But when we end up in the place, the reality is we are going to wear ourselves out and do the community we serve at this service. Leadership should never be all about one person. What happened when that person is gone? Jethro advice to Moses is to quit making it all about you about yourself secondly said moses instruct the people jethro tell moses to communicate to the people to teach them the status and instruction and to make known to them the way they are to go and the things they are to do exodus 18 20 i believe jethro is telling him to help the people understand the vision so they can picture where they are headed and what is needed to get done otherwise delegate perhaps i am really into the text but stick with me jethro suggested that moses instruct the people as a whole so that they understand god expectation it seems that Moses was waiting for a problem to arise before sharing insight from God. Jethro said, do not wait until something happens. Do it up front. We need to help people see where uh, we are headed and how we are going to get there. It will make them more comfortable because we are communicating the vision. A lot of times, individuals ask questions. Uh, because they are uncertain of where we are going and what is expected. The more we can instruct individual up front, the better instruction, the entire community, so that, so that 
all can hear the vision. And number three. So number one, it's not all about you. Number two, give instruction. Number three, build a team. Just to make it clear to Moses that if it is not all about him, he must build a team. Jethro suggests uh, that Moses mentor uh, leaders who can share in responsibility of leading. In fact, he suggests that the team must not only help Moses, but also mentors others to be leaders, discipleship. That one of the things that I think we're lacking in the church. Yet we understand the importance of developing a leadership team and knowing the best way to do this is to create a leadership pipeline. Listen to that word, a leadership pipeline. A process of being mentored and mentoring at the same time. Building a strong team not only helps to adjust certain needs, but also set the stage for a strong future. And four, this is necessary, this is ideal. Trust the team. Just to make it clear that it is not enough just to build the team. Moses must give them appropriate responsibilities. Just to suggest that the team hear the issues first and resolve those that are less complicated, allowing Moses to focus on the critical issues and not to wear himself out. We have so many burnt out preachers and leaders in the church because they're covering every ground for themselves. When we build a team, and I'm getting done, I promise you, when we build a team, we must trust the team to do the work. It is finding the right balance. I've been involved, but not so involved. That individual feels um, disempowered. If we choose the right people for the team, then we need to trust them to do the work. Like Moses, we will discover that it will make our lives easier. One, last but not least, listen to good advice find good counselors there's safety in good counseling one of the key lines of this text is moses listen to his father-in-law you know we have too much preachers and leaders but that you can't tell nothing you can't make a suggestion to i'm not hitting at nobody but that's the truth how many church you can go to and make a suggestion to the pastor? Uh oh, don't want to stir no ants nest. There is always room for improvement. It is important for leaders to listen to others. This is especially true when it seems like everything is going well and we do not need advice. We are prone to listen more and uh, attentively when things are going well. But challenge is to listen evil when we think we have it right. Listening does not automatically mean changing course, but it can make us aware that we need to be mindful of what is ahead we must learn to listen in good and challenging time and i'm going to wrap up on the story of the night when elijah performed that great work upon mount carmel when elijah saw the rain and prophesy to Ahab that it's going to be abundance of rain. 
the man was at the peak of ministry. He was seeing signs. He was seeing wonders. The power of God was with him. But when Ahab went home, he told Jezebel, my God, that Elijah have killed the false prophets. And the woman swear on her God that she shall make his life as one of the prophets. The, drive the man into a wilderness. The man sat under a juniper tree. Come on. The man said, God, kill me now. The man feel worthless. After all that wonders, after all that power that he experienced, there was a voice, there was a message that drive him into the wilderness. Hallelujah. Many of us, what we're experiencing right now in our adult world is because of what we heard. Many of us been messed up from what we heard preach around the pulpit. It's the truth. My God, this right the man at the place where he don't want to be the prophet no more. He don't want to function no more. He don't want to pray no more. He just want to die. How many of us in this season feel as if we don't want to go no further? Hallelujah. Because something has messed up our mentality. Something has caused an imbalance in our brain. Something has caused us to shut down. Hallelujah. But there was a visitation. I pray that you will have this very hour. An angelic a visitation that will stow your spirit up again hallelujah glory to god the bible says the angel visit him and feed him with bread and water and the man just lie them back in the depression come on how many times somebody pray for us my god and we experience the power of god in the prayer but as soon as the prayer platform shut down we have to face the environment again tell somebody shift man shift it's time to move hallelujah glory to god our environment makes a difference what we hear in our environment hallelujah have you ever get up one morning and you're having the worst morning of your life and you begin to sing praises and it seems like something shift my god i believe when the angel came under that juniper tree i don't know what your juniper tree is uh, tonight but i come to declare to you that there is a divine encounter with a meal from heaven that will stop you that will change you that will give you energy that will give you strength that will heal you i don't know what you're going through but the power of god is able to restore you somebody say hallelujah hallelujah the hallelujah. power of god is here to restore you this might be one of the worst seasons. The bills are piling up. You don't see no way out. My God Almighty, people are calling you. Oh, God Almighty, you're mourning a, 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 the loss of a loved one. Hallelujah. You have some childhood issue that is not yet resolved. You're still suffering with rejection. But a divine encounter is able to restore you. Isaiah 40, 46, verse 2. When you pass through the water, God said, I will be with you. When you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. My God, the flame will not set you ablaze. First Peter 5, 7, and I'm coming down. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cared for you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Psalms 91, 1, 2. Whoever dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High, somebody need to take rest this season. Will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. 
I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge, my strength, my fortress, my God in whom I will trust. Psalms 34 verse 17. I'm well, just encouraging you. I got, I'm about to wrap up this. The righteous cry out and the Lord heard them. Mango go shakeyaba. He delivered them from all their struggles. Glory to God. Is somebody being affected by the spoken words? Words are very important in your environment. Jesus says, Hallelujah. The word that I spoke, it gave life. The flesh profit nothing. The word that I speak to you are spirit and they are life. Some of us are, are, are being affected by what mother says, by what father says, by what loved one says, by what relative says, by what husband says, by what wife says, by what the environment says, by what the government is saying. But the, oh God, the government shall be upon his shoulder. Come on. God is carrying your burden this season this is the season my god to put away every weight to put away every burden and rest assured in jesus and he's gonna see you through he's gonna see you through the season i don't know who i'm talking to on this platform hallelujah but God is going to see you too. Amen. You're talking to Jesus. me. Son of God. The devil might be saying you're not going to make it out. But God is going to see you through this season. Ah, you But God is going to see you through this season. I don't know what the worry you carry on this platform this evening, but I hear it as God say to me that He's going to carry you through this season. Many people might walk on the path where you walk and they don't make it hard. <laughs> but you have that never fail. Mm -hmm. My God, I want to talk to you that you have somebody in the fire standing with you. He is the fourth man in the fire. Lama Ah, oh, God Almighty, the devil have a lot of mess up plans for you, but God hired them out, man. God strengthened them out. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I don't know what kind of Hallelujah. failure set up against your life this season but god already give you the past god already give you the access my god, god. Talk to somebody you might be struggling now but victory is ahead hallelujah my god you might be feeling the heart now Broken heart and try, try, and try spirit, you will not, not, not wise despise. Can I talk to somebody in here? But your God is still in control. Oh, God Almighty, it's time to get up in the season. My God Almighty, you have the victory. Who can stand against our God? Oh, God, no one can. No one, no one, can. one can. I need to have somebody at this platform. My God Almighty, Kabashanda. My God, I speak to every discouragement. My God Almighty, Koshikalabasanda. My God, you will not sit under no genetic tree of fear no hey. Fear, my. my God, no tree of worry, no tree of luck. Come on, somebody. You're at the wrong appointment. It's going to make the difference. Tell somebody to tap in, man. Tap in the heavens. Change the course, man. Change the outcome. Somebody said, I will not accept it. God Almighty, I will not accept it. In the name of Jesus, this is not it. Can I talk to somebody? It won't always be like this. My God Almighty, it's turning around. It's turning around. My God, 
for my good in the name of Jesus. My God, some of us have weathered the storm, some of us have weathered the abuse, some of us have weathered the thought down to the rejection, the outcast. Come on. My God, some of us are still as the black sheep of the family. My God, for all your life, God is about to turn it on. He's about to make you the head. My God, can I talk to somebody? He's about to make you the lender and not the borrower. Come on, somebody. He's about to make you the giver and not the beggar. You are the head, you are above, you're not beneath in the name of Jesus. Jesus. My Amen. God, when God turned it around, man. Can I talk to you? Man, can I talk to you? No matter what no one said to you this season. No matter what people think about you, you has not lost the value that God placed on your life. Can I talk to somebody for real in this place? Ah, my God, the battle might be hot on the conflicts, but you have not lost the value that God put on your life. Your value and your love. I hear you in this place today, God. Oh, God, I hear you in this house tonight. Hallelujah. I wish I'd have somebody to meet you. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. A lot of people expect you to feel. A lot of people expect you to feel, man. A lot of people expect you to win. Come on, somebody, help me now, man. A lot of people expect Hallelujah. you. Glory, glory be to Jesus, God. Jesus, I hear you. My God. But let me tell you. Hey, Kabasanda, if miss if miss opportunity happened to your mother or your father, my God, that is not your destiny. Come on, somebody. My God, what take out your mother if your mother is not no longer here will not take you out. What take out your father will not take you out. Every generation connective curse. My God, we break them now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. My God, I decree favor. Hey, Kabasanda. Over your life in the name of Jesus. My God, the things that your parents struggle with. My God, you shall not struggle with it. I got gonna help somebody in this place right now. My God, there's deliverance in this atmosphere. Jesus. Come from under the juniper tree, man. My God, I hear you. Hey, Kosha. My God. Come from under the juniper tree. My God. Juniper tree experience expire. Glory to God. My God. Break loose, man. It's time to shine. Mm -hmm. I remember on the field walk months ago, I was praying and God said to me, on November the 12th, there's going to be uncommon favor and uncommon breakthrough. And I keep on carrying it in my spirit. And when the battle turn up on me, I said, God, you said November the 12th. Hallelujah. There's going to be changes and uncommon favor. And I believe you, God. Hallelujah. My God Almighty. I'm going to just leave some things in this environment. We have somebody. Amen. Our house suffered damp. And for six weeks, we were into uh, the hotels. My God Almighty, I feel a way, man, because I was in the hotel. My space was cramped. Glory to God. I couldn't have operate as how I used to operate, man. So I wasn't feeling as how I used to feel. My God Almighty, when I came back into the flat, it seems like the syndrome follow me. My God Almighty. So one day I just follow my wife, my God, to be and cure. We begin to look on furnitures. We begin to look on things, man. And we begin to imagine, oh God, oh, we're going to set up the house. And we begin to buy this. And we begin to buy that. And I can I tell you, it lifts my spirit. My God, sometimes we're in an environment and every day we get up and see the same thing feel the same thing my god we just need to just change the scenery a bit and begin to imagine begin to dream my god let us put our dream 
soul in hibernation because of our environment. I'm telling somebody, change of the scenery. If it's affecting you, God Almighty, can I have somebody put down some worship music in the morning to mash up the sound of the devil? My God, sleep in some worship music my god almighty we need to upload sometime can i have somebody in this place amen sometimes you don't feel like the devil in the house man worship come on somebody hey god bless us in your environment environment. it's a place of deliverance it's a place of breakthrough come on somebody Oh, Labashanda, I hear you, God. It is well, Lord Jesus. It is well. Come on. I want some people to just begin to type in that comment here and say, It is well. Come on, somebody, help me in this platform. My God, you will not leave on this place discouraged. My God, if you come on this place discouraged, you will not leave off this platform discouraged tonight. Come on. Prophesy to speak over yourself, man. It is well, it is well. My God, it's everything not going the way that you want it to go, but it is well. Can I drive it in tonight? Oh, Baba Shanda. My God, don't make disappointment shut down your expectation. My God Almighty, come on. My God Almighty, the fighter is still in you. My God, you still have the power in you. You have the Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody. Don't make people cry on the juniper tree. My God, they may not see you as the gifted person who you are. But let no one drive you under the juniper tree. Come on. Believe what God is saying about you. My God Almighty. They may not believe it, but you believe it. Believe that you are blessed. Come on, somebody. Believe that you are faithful. Come on. Believe that you are appointed. Come on, somebody. Believe that the chain breaker is with you. My God, believe that he break every curse. Come on, somebody. Your future is bright. Your destiny is sure. Come on. You will not die before the time. Come on, somebody. I want to talk to your sister, Christine. Cancer have no power over you. My God, in the name of Jesus, you shall survive the experiences. Chemo have no power over you. My God, your hair shall grow back. Come on, somebody. There's deliverance power in this place your finance is about to break out come on somebody it's time oh god almighty to stand up on your victory out of shame to take this grace man lift your head up lift it up high your god is the winner man all the time winner man all the time i hear your god Ola Bashak. Winner man all the time. I tell, I want to talk to some people. My God, in soon I have to go. Mama Kushaka Baba. I soon have to go. My God, sometimes you get up and you feel like you're out of energy. Come on. Hey, Kabasa, in sooner that is robbing you. My God, and I persona that is robbing you have to go in the name of Jesus. I decree deliverance power over this platform tonight. In the name of Jesus, every chain, my God, on this platform must be broken. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, God. We thank you, Jesus. Marcusha, can I speak to your marriages? That it is well in the name of Jesus. Your marriage is well. There's nothing that the devil can do to destroy it. My God, the ministry is well. Come on. Your body, your health. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I hear you tonight, Holy Ghost. Hey, Kabashanda, it is well. Makushakla, a pasu can ride it as well with you, sir. Wabo shaka baba kushakata. You see, after time, the fight of the seas. My God Almighty. And in the season, you are about to weary the devil. My God, the devil is trying to weary you. But you, you know what? With a fight. When you outlast the fight, you weary the fight to come out. And I see God is about to anoint, anoint you, to weary and annoy the fighters. I don't care spiritual, emotionally, psychologically. Come on. My mental health is well and intact. Hey, Krabba Sukuta. 
he has given me power, love, and a sound mind. Amen. Everything that will allow me to soundness, I reject it in the name of Jesus. My God, I fear that every lofty thoughts that exalt itself against the knowledge of Christ of me and from you in the name of Jesus. I decree it. it is well, my God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody give God a shout, man. It is well, faith walk. Evangelists, it is well in the name of Jesus. I may not see it as how I want it. Oh God, but I know that it is well because it starts to it take towards me. It starts of peace. Hallelujah. Oh God, I hear you in this platform. But was an expected hand. My God Almighty. I gotta want to tell somebody if you see me on the low side, this is not my residency. I'm passing through. Come on, somebody. Because in the valley, he drew me aside to be tested and to be tried. But in the valley, he restored it. Come on, somebody. You're coming out of the valley. You're coming out with strength, my God, to walk up the mountain. Come on, somebody. You're going to pinnacle in the name of Jesus. You're going to possess. Come on, somebody. You are a winner in the name of Jesus. I feel your God to tell somebody that you are a winner. My God Almighty, it's not over. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody take down the white toes, them man. Take down the white flags, them. No retreat, no surrender. Oh, whatever, yeah. anybody... oh God Almighty, you can't give up. You can't give up. Lord, that I hear, I hear that the preacher said it's too early to quit. My God mm -hmm. Almighty, there's no quitting in the name of Jesus. Come on, tell somebody take down the white flags, man. No surrender in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. My God, you in a race mm -hmm. that you must win. Mm -hmm. Come on. But you are a winner. My God, yes, press. Yes, my God. Yes, somebody yes, press in the name of Jesus. Yes, press yes, forward. Yes. My God, I hear you. I hear you. Press to the higher calling. In the yes. name of Jesus. Press to the crowd. Hallelujah. Yes, press to the crowd. My God, touch the hem, man. Hallelujah. Come on, touch the hem, man. My God, something's robbed you, you know. You can tell, man, something's robbed you through the years, but you're going to get it back. You're going to get it back. Come on, somebody. Everything that you can rob you, you're going to get it back. In the name of Jesus, you're going to get it back. My God, I'm coming out of this better than how I get into it. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It is well. My God. Mm -hmm. Oh God, I hear you tonight. Lord, yes, Lord. Jesus, I hear you. Mm -hmm. Somebody need to hear this man. Mama Kusheka de Bahanda. Makushata de here. The here isn't isn't going so well until now. It's about to change. Can I talk to somebody? The here 2023 hasn't been going so well until now. My God, it's about to take a different road. It's about to take a different path. Come on, somebody, tap into it, man. My God, I see some I business ideas about to come alive. I see a window. Oh, I hear you tonight. Thank you, Lord. Hey, Bashiko Labahanda. Thank you, God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for the bridge. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Some pattern, some sequence, man. Oh God. It's, it's, it's time for it to end. It's time Hallelujah. for it to end. Minister Joyce Allison, some sequence, man. Markusha. Enough is enough. Yes. <laughs> Lord Jesus, look at it, man. The angel will not allow Elijah to stay in a place where there's no benefit for him. My God. Angel will not allow him to stay in a coma under that juniper tree. My God, I decree the Spirit of God will not allow you 
to stay in a place that is not fruitful but Hallelujah. it's not Hallelujah. i pray that the hand of god will pull you out tonight forcefully in the name of jesus i pray the divine favor over your life even now i pray that the spirit of god will minister to you and to another level in the name of jesus and come on favor and come on show in the name of jesus I receive in the name of Jesus. My God, I receive the bars of limitation. I pray that it will break off now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, Baba Sanda, come on. Come on, decree, break off, man. My God, it might not be you, man. But for somebody, come on, decree, break off, break off. Enough is enough now, man. I, yeah. God Almighty, I, I guess yeah. that the, the angel was Jamaican. He yeah. said, Elijah, what you do? Get up. Come on, I want to talk to somebody tonight. Get up. Hey, come on, What are you doing? Get up. Get up out of that, man. That is not your resting place. Get up. Oh, God Almighty, I hear you, God. Get up. Get up out of it, man. Get up out of the worries. Get up out of the concern. I got come. Yeah. Yeah. Get up. Get up. Get up. Tell somebody to get up out of that man. Get up out of that dead man. Get up. Get up. In the name of Jesus. Time to move. Get up. Get up out of the sorrow. Get up. Shahi Wabo Shahagas. Get up. Jesus. Isaiah said, Arise and put on your beautiful garment. I want to talk to somebody. Get out the, 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 the whole clothes, man. I put on. I hear your God. Get out, man. My God Almighty, because your son is not just a millionaire, my trillionaire, billionaire. You might all hear them, man. All the money belong to him. All the world. Get up out of that. In the name of Jesus, my God Almighty. Take the limit of God. I want to talk to somebody in this place for real. The limit of God tonight. The limit of in the name of Jesus. Mm. Don't say not happen. It's going to happen. Come on, can I help you? Don't say it's not going to happen. Patrick Nelson, don't say it's not going to happen. It's going to happen in the mm. name of Jesus. Come on, put some claim on it. Uh, Jennifer Wilson, put some claim on it, man. Uh, DH, put some claim on it, man. It's gonna happen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. My God, the Holy Ghost yes. says something to me recently. Sometimes we talk some things out of existence, you know. Yes, you have to speak it into me. God yeah, man. Sometimes we, because we expect it not gonna happen to me because so much bad thing is happening to me. Come on now. Ekabasata, expect greater things, man. Expect greater things. My God, don't expect the worst for yourself. Come on, somebody. No matter how bad Jezebel is, she can't kill Elijah. My God, my God, who am I talking to on this platform tonight? Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. No matter how much threatening Jezebel sent towards you, she can't stop the assignment. Come on, now. no matter what sickness, she can't stop assignment my god almighty because you're anointed to live come on you're appointed to live come on somebody I have a shot come on your children shall obtain favor can i talk to somebody on this platform this, my god almighty your home shall obtain in favor in the name of Jesus, break you in this place like never before. By the Holy Ghost, hey, God, you will shock in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, Lord. Jesus, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Mm -hmm. Expect to win, but expect to win. My mm -hmm. God, tell somebody, expect to win. Yes, expect to win. Expect to win, man. Hey, come on, Make plans, man. Write them things. Make the vision clear. Write them some things, man. Lord of mercy. Write them some things at 2024. Hallelujah. Make 
plans, make big plans to hey, come and suck and put your Holy Ghost hand on it and pray over it in the name of Jesus, my God, right up the house, right up the car, come in somebody, right up the health, right over your children, education, put your hands on it and pray, my God Almighty, experience the favor of God, walk into the favor, my Jesus tonight, oh God Almighty, I feel something breaking. Into the favor of God, Jesus, mighty God, yes, Lord. Hey. My God, if you can open your mic, man, open your mic and begin to worship God, man. I hear oh, sounds in my ears. Come on, man. Where's the warriors, man? Come on. Hey, Baba. My God, I'm claiming my family that are not safe tonight. In the name of Jesus. My God, I'm sending a weapon in the camp of the enemy. In the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody. I'm calling my atmosphere into order. I'm calling my enemy environment into order everything in my body that is i'm calling it into order in the name of jesus somebody lift up your voice and declare it tonight oh god almighty a divine encounter that will change and shift things that will change my position that will change my emotion my psychological being my physical being let there be a change Mighty God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, in the name of Jesus, declare and declare in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in no other name but your name, Jesus, I thank you, Lord Jesus, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, hallelujah, thank you, Lord, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Lord, Everything that is causing an imbalance, I decree that it will get balanced right now in our life. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, we hear you tonight. Glory to God. Arise. My God, I hear you put on your beautiful garment, man. Fix up yourself. Hallelujah. My God Almighty, come on. Don't just like depression. Come on, somebody. Don't just like worries. Come on, somebody. Like, uh, fix up yourself, man. Let your very appearance uh, rebuke the devil. My God Almighty. Come on, somebody. Help me in this atmosphere. Your very appearance must rebuke the devil. Let the devil know that you are royalty. Marco Shakata. You're a child of God. Be careful. Back up, back up, devil. Back up, demons. My God, this is my residency. Come on, somebody. Hey, Baba Sukota, you In the name of Jesus. Amen. Ay, 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 ay. Pastor Maxwin, wealth. Pray for us, woman of God. There's anointing on this platform tonight. Pray for us. Yeah, Baba Shikoto, baby, baby, hi. God, hallelujah. 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 Every which cross spell that I've been holding you back through the years. I need to reach broken now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. Hallelujah. Jesus, we thank you. Thank you. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you for the change that I have broken, Lord. Oh, God, we thank you for the chains that are broken, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, God, for the garment of righteousness, Lord. We thank you, God, for the garment of heaviness that have been put on. Hallelujah. Put Jesus. off. Oh, God Almighty, we thank you for the power of the Holy Spirit. Mighty God, we thank you for breakthrough right now, God. Mighty God, we thank you for the cloak of righteousness. Hallelujah. My God, we thank you for your presence, for your spirit on the platform right now, God. Mighty God, we hear deliverance taking place, Lord. We hear shackles falling, my God. We hear chains breaking, God. Lord, we see strongholds being Pull down, mighty God. God, we speak into every spirit right now, God, that no one will leave this platform the way that they came, my God. It is an evening and a night of deliverance, my God, for everyone. Mighty God, we pray that your children will receive right now. Mighty God, what has been established, my God, in the name of Jesus. Christ of Nazareth. My Jesus. God Almighty, your presence is so evident, so thick, Lord I, God. I, I, and when your presence is there, my God, break through taking place, God. I, Mighty God. God, I pray that your children at this time, Jesus. God, will receive. My God Jesus. Almighty, too long, my God, too long, too long, Jesus. too long. Mighty God, that this evening the evening, my God of benediction, mighty God, we tear down some walls this evening. Every single person, my God, must receive. Oh, God Almighty, some of us, my God, who have been, oh God, so shaken, my God, beaten up, my God. Oh, God Almighty, threatened, my God of heaven, and I've run away, my God, from the place of righteousness. Run away from the place of purpose, my God. Run away from the place of calling because we have been threatened, my God, by the enemy. But this evening, my God, we pray, mighty God, mighty God, that your children will rise up. Rise up, my God Almighty. Awake from the slumber. Awake from the fear, my God. God Almighty, awake from the threat, my God, and declare and take God. over, my God, their possession. My God Almighty, we pray for empowerment right now, God. My God, that every heart, my God, every heart, my God, every heart, my yes. God will know that they are strong and mighty, mighty to God, mighty to the power of the Holy Spirit. My my God, my God, my God, we pray for your man's servant.